This is the home page for Synergy Finder. We can start the analysis by clicking on this button. The first step for analysis is to select one of the data format for input data. Synergy Finder accepts two different data formats, and you can find more information about the input data on this page. The next step is to upload a dataset for analysis. You can upload a file from your local file system by clicking on this button. Alternatively, you can load one of the built-in example data from this list. Here I select the ANEL dataset for analysis. This is a dataset for two drug combinations with four replicates and the response values are measured by percentage inhibition. Switching on this button triggers the annotation function. It extracts the drugs and cell lines from the input data and query the external databases for the information such as drug identifiers, drug targets, cell synonyms, and so on. When the annotations are ready, we get three tables for drug information, drug target information, and cell line information. After selecting a phenotypic response type for the input data, we jump to the tab for dose response map. On this page, Synergy Finder provides dose response curves for tested drugs and the visualization for dose response metrics. With the drop down list here, we can choose the different blocks to visualize. There are several widgets below for customize the plots and the buttons for download the plots in SVG format. When switching to Synergy Score tab, Synergy Finder automatically calculates the Synergy scores and sensitivity scores for all the blocks in the input dataset. It takes a while to finish the calculation. By default, Synergy Finder calculates the score without baseline correction, but the user could choose the different method to correct the baseline from this drop-down list, and the application will recalculate all the scores. This page shows the Synergy landscape calculated from four different models, deep model, HSA model, LOI model, and Bliss model. Scrolling down the web page, we can see the barometer and bar plots, which harmonize the different synergy scores. Please check the user get for more details about the Synergy score calculation and the functions on this tab. On the tab for sensitivity score, Synergy Finder prints a table for SC50, relative inhibition for single drugs, and the CSS score for combination blocks. The SS plots are the scatter plots for CSS score and synergy score for each combination blocks. It provides an unbiased evaluation for the drug combinations. Please 
check the user get page for more details about the sensitivity score calculation and the functions on this tab. On the tab for download reports, we can choose the blocks to report. By clicking on this button, we can download a static PDF report for all of the results from our previous analysis. And this button will give us a dynamic HTML report. Synergy Finder provides two tables for download. The first one is the table for summarized synergy and sensitivity scores for each combination blocks. The second one is a table for the synergy scores at each data point in the combination matrix. With this drop-down list, we can select a file format for export these tables. We can also download an R object generated from our analysis by clicking on this button. This object could be used as an input data for functions in the Synergy Finder R package for further analysis and visualization. From this page, you can find a link to the Bioconductor page for Synergy Finder R package. And you can install the package by following the instruction here. And you can find a detailed user tutorial for the package from this page. By the way, our group also developed a drug hump data portal to collect and analyze the publicly available drug combination screening data. Please feel free to search for and download some interesting data set for your studies from this page. Here is a list for our group members involving in this project. If you like our tools, please set our papers by following the instruction on this page. And if you have any questions, please, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.